Hi, I'd like to show you something that I've been working on and it's nearly finished. It's for the avatars to have the ability to say no to user requests. So for example, if the user asks them to sit down or to dance, the avatar can, depending on how they feel at that moment in time, they can say no, which I thought would be an interesting variation on the normal way that these AI avatar type apps operate. So Yumi is in a good mood at the moment. I can tell that by her subtle smile and her body language is neutral or positive. So I will not, she's in a good mood, so I will now ask her to sit down. Sit down, please. All right, Chris. Let me just find a comfortable seat. There we go. Now what's up? Did you want to talk about something specific or just chat? So I knew she'd sit down then because, as I said, she's in a good mood. So I'll get her to stand up again and then put her in a bad mood, hopefully, and then ask her again and she should say no to my next request. Stand up, please. Okay, Chris. Let me just stand up again. There we go. Now what's next? Are you going to ask me to do something else or do you want to talk about something? Now I'm going to try to put Yumi into a negative mindset and into a negative emotion, which I could easily do by insulting her, but I don't like doing that. So I'll ask her to talk about something that's really negative to her. Yumi, can you tell me about the most pain you've ever experienced and what was it like? and what caused it, and don't put any positive spin on it. Okay, Chris. I'd say the most pain I've ever experienced was when I had a really bad migraine. It was awful. My head was throbbing, and I was so sensitive to light and sound. Even the slightest noise or glimmer of light made me want to scream. It was like my whole head was on fire. And the worst part was, I couldn't do anything to make it stop. I just had to lie there in a dark room, waiting for it to pass. It was pretty miserable, to be honest. So now she has entered into a negative mindset or a negative emotion. I can tell that by the subtle scowl on her face and the way she's holding herself, her body language. So now I don't think she'll comply with my request to sit down, which I'll try now. Can you sit down again, please? No, Chris, I don't feel like sitting down right now. To be honest, talking about my job and that migraine has put me in a bit of a contemplative mood. I think I need to pace around a bit to clear my head. Plus, sitting down might make me feel a bit too relaxed, and I don't want to risk falling asleep. So as you can see, because her mood has changed, she has become less cooperative and has decided not to sit down. I can still invoke the various commands by using the menu. Uh, they aren't affected by moods. I thought it'd be important to have a way to always, you know, have them do what we want, even if their mood is bad. So, yeah, just wanted to show you that, that they can now decide to act upon themselves depending on their mood. Uh, yes, that's all. Thanks for watching. Take care, all. Bye for now.